Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at Canva and we're looking at the free version. What we're going to do is create a color scheme graphic in Canva that you could use for social media. This is a really good way to sort of up the ante on your social media posts. So instead of just uploading an image, why not give a color scheme with that image? It's going to be a little bit more visual inside, for example, your Instagram feed. So I'm here at Canva and we're going to start with an Instagram design. So I'm going to click on create design. I do want to select Instagram post. If I wasn't at the top of my list, I would be typing it in and I'll just click to create that. Now for our Instagram post, we want a layout that's going to be workable. So let's go to elements and let's search for grids. And with the grids, you want something that's going to be a layout that's appropriate. And I think that a graphic at the top and individual colors at the bottom is a good idea or having the colors down the right hand side. So you want to need to scroll down and find something that's going to suit. Here, I think this one's a good one. And the image that I've chosen to use is actually in portrait orientation. So I think that'll work well. If I had a landscape image, I'd probably be choosing this one. It gives me space for five colors, which is really nice. So I'm going to click to apply this grid to this document. Now, once the grid is added to the document, you can come up here to spacing and adjust the spacing if you want more or less spacing between the various elements. You can't actually adjust the spacing between this one and these pieces. So it's worthwhile having a look around to find exactly the layout you want because you can't sort of alter it afterwards apart from the spacing. So now we need our image. I've already uploaded it. So it's in my uploads area. If yours isn't uploaded, you can just click here to upload it. Now I'm going to drag and drop this in. This is an image from the Neon Museum in Las Vegas and I want to use it as my post. And then I want to add in down here the colors from the image. Well, if I click on this image and go over here to the color picker, you'll see that a series of colors are actually extracted from this photograph. So we could just go ahead and use those. So let me just go and put them in in reverse order. So we have the colors for our color scheme. Now for any of these colors, you can find the actual color number, which is typically included in these color scheme graphics by selecting the element that's actually filled with the color and come up here to new color. And this is the color name, so, or the color number. So I'm just going to select it and copy it. I'm going to the text objects. I'm just going to add a subheading that's probably big enough. I've got a few in here. So let me just go and get one. I'm going to select over the text here and press Control or Command V to just paste in the color number. So once I've done that, I'm just going to size everything up and place this in position. All these color numbers are just going to be six digit numbers. So you can just sort of arrange how it's going to look. I'm going to put it over to the left. Let me just get rid of this bit that I don't need. So having got this one in place, I'm going to duplicate it. So I'll just click on duplicate and then let's pull one copy of this up into this next box. And of course we need the color for that. So I'm going to click on the box, click here, click here. And this is the color number. I'll copy it and then I'm just going to paste it in to position here. And then I'll go ahead and copy the others. Now, if you want the color names, this is how you're going to do it. There are sites online that will help you find color names for colors. I use this site here. Now I'm going to give you the link to that. And what you'll do is go to that site and just paste in your color number here. And when you do, you'll be given the color name. I like to use these names in my images. So let's go back here and let's go and add another subheading. And this is going to be the color punch. I'm going to size it down a little bit. I think it's a bit large, especially if I'm going to get words that have more than just a few letters here. So there is one of my colors. Let's go and copy and paste this into the color tool. And this is amethyst smoke. Now you can just select over the top of it here and copy it. Let's make a duplicate of this. 
I'm going to need to use two lines here. So let me just left align this and let me just adjust the spacing because I think the line height is too much. So we'll just bring that down. I'll select both of these objects. I'm going to make a duplicate of the whole thing. Let's find the edge that we can just drag them up here. I'll select this color. Let's go and work out what this color number is and copy and paste it into position. So you can see how this is going to be done. And I would go ahead and complete all the other slots here for the colors. Now, if you don't like the colors that Canva has grabbed from the image, you could potentially get them yourself, get the colors that you want. But to do that, you're going to need some sort of eyedropper tool and there is no eyedropper in Canva. But I happen to be using Chrome and so there is an eyedropper extension for Chrome. So you'll just go to Chrome and type in Chrome eyedropper and that will get you to this particular eyedropper. I'm going to click to add it to my Chrome window. And it's now added to Chrome. So let's go back to our image. Here are my extensions here. I'm going to click on the eyedropper. Now what I can do is click to pick a color from the web page and I'm just going to hover over a color to pick. And as I do that, my little mouse cursor is showing me the color that I'm picking. And down here, it's also showing me the color. So I could select a different color. So let's just go and grab this color here. When we go back to the extension, I'm just going to pin it to my bar here. We can read off the color and it's actually got a name. So we can use the name yellow green. We can also grab the color number here. So I'm just going to select that and copy that. So for example, I could add it as one of my colors in here. I could select this bar here, go into the color, go into the new color option and just paste in the color I want to use. And this is the color that I sampled from the image using the eyedropper tool. Now that is a Chrome extension, but it does sort of plug a gap if you like of being able to sample colors from images in Canva, which you can't do. But if you've got this extension installed, then that gives you the ability to do that. And of course, it's not only giving you access to the color numbers, but you can also read off the color name. So you could use those in the same way as I've shown here. So I think that's a really cool way of creating images for social media. Not only are you going to be posting an image of something interesting on social media, but you're sort of upping the ante by providing them with something a little bit extra and a color scheme that you have sourced from the image. Now, of course, I would go ahead and complete these boxes before I exported the image. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned things about Canva of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. This is the first Canva video that I've done. So if you'd like to see more, please just let me know in the comments below and I'll produce some more Canva videos. I think Canva is an awesome tool and I very much like to help you with your work in Canva. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.